Hello friends, today we would be doing the identification of oxalate anion. Oxalate belongs to concentrated sulfuric acid group and while heating the contents of the test tube, pass the gas evolved through lime water. Step 1 is to take the solid salt in a clean and dry test tube. The next step is to add the concentrated sulfuric acid into the test tube. Always use a dropper while adding the acid. As you know it is corrosive. On adding the sulfuric acid, you can observe an effervescence which will be more evident by heating the contents of the test tube. So the next step is to heat the contents of the test tube to boil. You can see that on heating the contents, there is evolution of white colored fumes. Now we pass the gas through lime water. Lime water is calcium hydroxide solution which is prepared by mixing solid calcium hydroxide in water and filtering out the solid contents. Now after passing the gas, shake the test tube vigorously. You can observe that the lime water has turned milky. Carbon dioxide and carbon monoxide are produced on reaction with concentrated sulfuric acid. Carbon dioxide reacts with calcium hydroxide to produce the milky color of calcium carbonate. Now we proceed to the confirmatory test that is the calcium chloride test where we add calcium chloride solution to the aqueous solution of the salt. So first we take the aqueous solution of the salt and now we will be adding calcium chloride solution. On adding calcium chloride, you can observe a white precipitate. Now we will divide this precipitate into three parts. The first part and the second part is for the completion of this test. That is the first part we will be adding ammonium oxalate solution to check for the solubility. And you can observe that the precipitate persists. Now to the second part we will be adding the hydrochloric acid. The third part is reserved for the second confirmatory test. On adding the hydrochloric acid, you can observe that the precipitate is dissolving and the solution is colorless. Calcium chloride reacts with oxalate salt to produce the insoluble precipitate of calcium oxalate which became soluble on adding hydrochloric acid. The potassium permanganate test where we take the third part of the precipitate from previous test and we will be adding dilute sulfuric acid and dilute KMnFO solution and warm the solution. Here I have taken the third part of the precipitate and now I will be adding the dilute sulfuric acid. After adding the dilute sulfuric acid, I will add dilute KMnF4 solution. We are using dilute potassium permanganate solution here because the color change would take place much faster on little amount of reactants. Now we heat the contents of the test tube and observe that the pink color is disappearing. Potassium permanganate is acting as an oxidizing agent and changed its oxidation state from plus 7 to plus 2 thereby decolorizing. Handle sulfuric acid with care. Avoid inhalation of the gas produced in the preliminary test. It is a toxic carbon monoxide gas which can cause respiratory arrest. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and click on the bell button so that you would be notified about my new videos.